and there was a small window of opportunity. There's no doubt about it. It was a small window. Um, you're right, there was only a small window of opportunity, but, you know... Cerca das 22 horas, Kate McCann, a mãe de Maddie, deu o alarme. Maddie não estava no quarto. Por volta das 22h40, a GNR de Lagos recebeu um telefonema a dizer que uma menina tinha desaparecido do Ocean Club, na Praia de Luz. Segundo o testemunho da gerente do Ocean Club, quando a patrulha da GNR chegou ao local, o pai da criança atirou-se aos pés dos militares, como rezam os árabes, completamente descontrolado com o desaparecimento da filha. A cena repetiu-se, segundo os militares da GNR, no quarto casal. Passava da meia-noite, quando a GNR avisou o piquete da polícia judiciária. Fui informado de imediato e tomei as devidas providências. Por se a buscas na região, as autoridades espanholas foram avisadas e as fronteiras controladas. Ter-se organizado a maior operação de busca alguma vez feita em Portugal. holiday in a resort in the Algarve. This family friend speaking on GMTV earlier says the family's frantic. They've been looking themselves, they walked along the hedgerows and they've been out shouting but there's nothing else they can do unless they get some support from, from the police over there or the police here. That's Jill Rennick. She told GMTV the shutters on the hotel room had been broken and the family believed their daughter's been taken. Well, as you can imagine, as a mother, it's the worst thing for anybody to happen. She's, she's been taken. That, I mean... She's been taken, that's all they know. Um, the hotel manager was just exhausted, shattered. He, he was beside himself, giving a few interviews early that morning. a lot of mystery concerning the night that Madeline uh, disappeared. Um, are you willing to share with us what happened that night between 6.30 and 10? Sandra, we've told everything to the police and it's in the investigative file. <laughs> 